they, at that time, you know, that's back when I recommended brokers. Uh, anyway, I won't get into to that whole relationship, but suffice to say, the first time they did that was the last time they did that. Uh, so I, you want to avoid FXCM, quite frankly, because they play these games. Um, now, FXCM is, is a broker that won't necessarily put you on manual execution, but they definitely have traders whose job is to monitor your trading activity. They figure out how you trade, what your, what your typical habits are, and they will trade directly against you. Okay, so you need to watch for the signs. Now there are some brokers. Uh, M, this is MB Trading. Oh, sorry, that ran together. Dot com. Uh, and of course, I it was EFX. Tra uh, I don't remember what their website is, but EFX is the same thing as MB Trading. Uh, but MB, MB Trading. Dot com is what's called an ECN broker. Okay. ECN broker. What this means is Electronic Communications Network, and it works very similarly to in the stock market where you have ECNs. Now, with an ECN, what that means is you have uh, all these people out here. Okay, these are not brokers. These are what are called liquidity providers, market makers. Okay, so you have your broker sits here in the middle. So then there's you. When you send a buy order to the broker, they pick the best offer from whoever this is, and their software will automatically find it for you. So you click buy, your broker displays the best offer. You get the best offer from one of, you know, sometimes up to 70 different liquidity providers. Most of them have 20 to 30. When you click sell, the same thing. They present the best bid. Now, what this means is the broker makes their money the old-fashioned way. They charge a commission. So you're, you're going to have to understand the fees. Most brokers, uh, for example, uh, with MB Trading, You typically, with the pound, will see one to two pip spreads. With the commission, it will go two to three pips. Okay, but that's still better than the average everywhere else, which is four to five. Okay, on a regular lot, you're saying tw you're saving ten to twenty bucks, and you can negotiate these commissions down uh, depending on your volume. But as a general rule, the commission will add a pip to your trade, which is fine. I mean, you're trading on one to two pips. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about this manual execution crap. You don't have to worry about them running and gunning for your stops. Uh, but the, the app, the, the, usually the trading platform is a bit more complicated. So as you're working your way up and you're starting off, it's fine if you're working with, uh, you know, a so-called normal broker, and and you're getting your, your feet wet, you're getting experience. Uh, that's fine. But as you gain experience and you start to become more and more profitable, especially with the news trading stuff that's on the website, because that's very consistent money. When you start doing that, you're going to be targeted. It's just something you have to be aware of. But now, uh, as they say, being forewarned is forearmed. And you don't have to worry about, what am I going to do? Remember, this all fits in with having a plan. Okay. So, let me grab a drink, and we'll talk about some charts. Drink of water, by the way. All right. So, I'm uh, just going to pause the screen here for a moment. Let me get my charts uh, arranged. How I like them. Oops. Please bear with me as I maneuver myself around here. Okay, so share Jensen. So there we are. Okay, so you know, let's let's talk about um, let's talk about some of these patterns. In fact, you know what? No, let me let me do this. Um, I'm not going to use Ensign because I want to illustrate a point. Well, 
Uh, shoot, I can't share both. Okay. Sorry to be mumbling in your ear. Um, okay. Now, this is Interbank FX. Uh, this is their, their demo application, uh, their MetaTrader 4 application. One of the things you've got to understand about the Forex market then, uh, now that we've talked about, uh, you know, sort of the inside scoop, is be because you're dealing directly with your broker, if you trade with Interbank FX,